Hello Sagittarius, welcome guys to your reading for November. I'm really sorry, I've been so behind. I've been a couple days behind, which turned into a whole week behind, so I'm sorry because I was traveling and I got sick, but we're back. So we're gonna get into uh, your reading this week. It's gonna be a bi-weekly, I'm sorry. So uh, I just merged them. So if it's already happened, awesome. If you're going through it, even better. And if it's coming, then perfect. Then you know what to expect for the rest of the week. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening with the retrograde. So just be really, really careful. <laughs> Uh, there's gonna be maybe even X's popping up and don't forget with the X's we always ask why so make sure you've learned your lessons make sure you've really processed stuff if you have an opportunity to ask for forgiveness or to take it or to do it then please do so it's a very powerful time right now with the retrograde all these things are gonna be resurfacing that we still need to release and let go of or perhaps there's reoccurring dreams and stuff like that that are relevant so take it as it resonates if it doesn't resonate it's not for you don't forget to like subscribe and comment and um, the 11 11th is a very important day because there's a portal that's being opened and if you don't know anything about it check my Instagram Miss CD Tarot you'll read up on it there and of course all the stuff with the moons because we're now going to be entering into Taurus season for the moon uh, Taurus moon I should say and it's going to be beautiful but do not make any big decisions and don't make any big commitments until after November 20th when the retrograde is over and if you can delay it a little longer just to make sure this whole mercury retrograde is behind us um, it's gonna be looping a lot of things so like I said don't make any major decisions any major moves as best as you can avoid anything because nothing is gonna stay that happens during this time so be very careful okay uh, we're gonna get into it and because it's a new moon I'm doing the moonology I'm adding that so we have the unicorn oracles lovers oracles romance angels the gilded tarot for your two week <laughs> what's going on and uh the archangel michael at the end okay so we're gonna start with your first one for your unicorns and we have patience again with the retrograde you're gonna need it and i'm gonna keep mentioning it so you might get sick of it by the end of this but now you know <laughs> and the camera's really far so i'm not gonna reach all the way but here's the card so you can see the beautiful unicorn but i'm gonna have to put my arm down so here we go patience Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Now is not the time to charge ahead with this project or opportunity. No matter how excited you are or how good it seems, the divine is at work putting more pieces into place so that your next step can unfold. You may be anxious that nothing is happening with this situation and wonder whether you should be doing more to make it happen. Rest assured the opposite is true. You have done the work and you have to set your intentions. You have made your requests to the universe. There is something just around the corner that needs a little more time to materialize. It is time to hold space for your manifestation so that it can occur. Let go of when and how this should happen. Release any concerns about missing out. You may not see the progress in the physical plane, but plenty is happening behind the scenes. Trust that whatever is coming will be in the perfect form and at the perfect time for you. This gentle unicorn encourages you to relax into this period of waiting, knowing that you will <laughs> knowing that you will need your full energy when the time arrives to act. So for some of you guys, enjoy, relax, do not do anything major. Like I said, be patient. It's even in your cards. <laughs> do not do anything right now. Okay, it's a very, very difficult time for me to express this, but for many of you, um, don't take things personally. Again, it is still Scorpio season on top of that, so it's really in theme with the whole transformation and going through and, and purging, and this could be very emotional for some of you too, and I know you guys are fire signs, so just be really careful with your temper, be really careful with your words, and uh, especially with those around you because you don't wanna hurt people, right? Like, you still gotta go through stuff, but you don't wanna cause more problems for yourself later, okay? Here we go. For your moon, this is awesome beautiful card you're very close to achieving your goal just wait with the patience right so this is a gibbous moon this is amazing i've never had this one yet it's beautiful i love the artwork on these ones too okay so here we are the word gibbous means bulging what a descriptive word right <laughs> Sorry. I'm pulling this card at any time of the month suggests that the situation you're asking about is bulging with possibility and coming to a peak. But this isn't an ending card with a neat yes or no answer. Rather, you're being reminded that some adjustments may yet to be required before you get what you want. Though you're certainly on the right track, which is hopefully reassuring for you. However, there is also a sense that the situation is a bit tense. So don't push too hard. One false move and the whole thing could blow. 
That's not meant to scare you. It's just to let you know that there's a fuse attached to this situation. So be careful in your choice and to choose light. Attune to the moon. I know that I'm on the right track. Additional meanings. Now is a good time to review your plans. Keep the momentum going as you move forward towards your dreams. Stay focused. It's a good time to start a new project. You need to get back into good health habits. The teaching. The gibbous moon comes at the very end of the lunar cycle, just before the full moon. She looks like she's bulging because she's almost a full moon, so she's nearly fully rounded. It's a culmination of the waxing cycle as, and as such tends to be rather intense period of the month. No matter when you pull this card, it suggests a very ripe time and a very ripe situation. That's awesome. So you are very close, guys. It's right there for you. Whatever plans you have, definitely allow a little bit of time for things to be perfected. You're divinely, like your two cards already so far, talking about divine helping you, about making sure other things are in place to materialize it exactly as you need it. So use this time, because it's not just talking about achieving your goal, it's talking about actually bringing it in. So whatever you're working on, fine tune your details, go over all sorts of stuff, make sure everything is good and then check it again. But don't do anything major right now especially regarding it. Okay, for your lover's oracles, beautiful card. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. Amazing. Your next one, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. And this one is kind of in tune with what's happening right now because you're being asked to release a lot of old energies, a lot of old trauma, a lot of old things that are stuck inside that are going to come up. You're going to you're going to be triggered by different things if you haven't already been in the past week, then you're definitely going to be moving forward and just be just as a warning, just be careful. It's not you, it's not them, it's just the situation with what's going on, okay? So if we're talking to the cosmos, there's a lot of stuff that are happening and you're going to have to surrender and just allow it to happen and if it's pissing you off or it's causing you to feel a certain way why F sit with it feel it find it and and process it so that you can release it because that trigger is going to always be there as long as that switch is available if you take away that power nobody can control you with that again okay whatever it is however that applies and whoever that was for <laughs> Here we go. you may not always understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So some of you may be going through something very difficult, which is also why patience is here, because you can't expect too much of yourself at any given time. But for others of you, it could be a little bit of foreshadowing that something might be coming up or you might be going through something right now. And it's just letting you know that, again, this is always temporary. And once you get through this too, this too shall pass. But once you get through this, you will be now blessed with everything after it, okay? So just breathe be patient don't make any haste decisions don't make any quick things and uh just allow allow this process of this time right now okay again during this season romance angels reconciliation again i did talk about the exes coming back but i feel like maybe some of you might actually want that so someone from your past is returning to your life but the cool part with the reconciliation card is it's not just this life this could be any other life so you might be meeting someone and or maybe you've met them already because of course this is from the first week so between November 1st and the 15th, you could be connecting with someone and that you might just have this amazing connection with them that you know, you know the person, but you don't know why. So this can be someone from another lifetime as well. But for many of you, if you've been hoping for that reconnection with someone that you lost or someone that it didn't work out, the timing wasn't, wasn't right or the situation wouldn't allow it, then this could be the opportunity to reconnect with them and start over. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Wow, guys, that's the second time you got forgiveness, and I'm thinking of someone specifically. This is really important, reinforced here. <laughs> but uh, for many of you, there's a lot of healing, and that could be a lot of the stuff that's coming up, is that it is your family situation that brings you a lot of inner love and healing because these are stuff that's going back to your childhood, possibly, or things that happened that were caused by your family. And this is an opportunity with the angel above here so for some of you, this is huge healing and this is going to actually heal many parts of you that you didn't even realize needed healing. And it might actually answer why a lot of things haven't been working in other relationships because, of course, 
subconsciously we're programmed by our family and those around us immediately. So whoever's in your immediate circle, they're the ones that are doing it. And for some of you, religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you could be separated from your person or this is why there's a little bit of a delay or why things aren't working out so smoothly because again, there might be cultural differences or um, you know, maybe even your beliefs are totally different, so that's totally fine, but that could also be why it's delayed, because maybe you have different traditions and stuff like that, which happens. Awesome, now we're going to get into your reading. Sorry. <laughs> no, we're not sneezing? Okay, we're good. All right, moving on. Nine of Cups, make a wish, guys. I'm so happy. Okay, so we're starting with this energy. This could be, of course, coming out of October. You know, maybe you had something on your mind that you're wishing for, or you're wanting, maybe you're waiting for something to come in because, of course, you're close to your goal. So that means that all the pieces are in place. So you've been wishing for this. And this is the wish fulfillment card. So this is it materializing. So this is emotional and material fulfillment. So whatever you've been wanting, it's bringing joy. It's coming to you. Nine of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or cancer again this is celebration so maybe you're celebrating um you know this is a beautiful time too you could have been around a lot of people but this is definitely about getting something that you've been wishing for and wanting for a really long time so that's amazing then we have the six of pentacles again more pentacles here this has to do with your financing um security abundance here with this of course this is also earth energy so you could be dealing with a virgo capricorn or taurus and what I really like about this is, of course, it's got a little bit of Libra here with the scale, if you can see the scale here. So it's balanced. Of course, six is an even number. But this is also portraying a man who has money. He's abundant in the sense that he's secure in himself, but he's also giving it away. So for some of you, you can also be doing some volunteer work, giving back, um, you know, doing something to help others, to help the needy or to help Whatever you're doing, you're giving back. It's a gift. This is a gift card, okay? So for some of you, you could be gifting it or it could be gifted to you, but you could also be dealing with an earth sign and whatever this is, if this is something you've been working on or wishing for, then it's definitely secure and it's equal. So whatever you're giving, you're receiving. And uh, that's a beautiful thing about giving back is that you always get back to. So I highly recommend volunteering. The Fool, woo, beautiful new opportunity. So this could be someone coming towards you. This could be someone giving you a new offer or perhaps you, you know, you're just in this awesome energy where you're you're emotionally stable, you're, you're financially, you're good. And then you're just taking this new leap of faith here. So if this is a new opportunity having come in or someone that's giving you a balance, so maybe you've been wishing for this person, maybe you've been putting out this energy and then you're getting this reciprocated intention and it's, it's beautiful and it's making you feel secure and safe in it. Uh, again, the surrender is here too. So for some of you, it could be surrendering to it, but you are possibly or someone is coming to take a leap of faith so this is a new adventure a new beginning the fool of course just packs his bags and goes <laughs> he doesn't uh there's no plan you know so for some of you if that's part of releasing it maybe this is just taking a leap of faith that your project is going to work out exactly how it's meant to and that's when you're really embracing that patience card i'm just trying to see what else i see here but awesome energy guys this is a great place to be so i feel like for some of you it could be a new beginning it could be a new adventure but whatever it is you know you're starting from this beautiful energy with the nine of cups and the six of pentacles so i'm really happy to see that and then we have the knight of pentacles some more earth energy with this of course this is capricorn taurus or virgo knight of pentacles he is the slowest moving knight in the deck however he does show up and then what this also means is that this person is very reliable if this is an opportunity then it's long term this this is something that's committed that's structured that's stable that you know you can trust and they are reliable so they might take some time for it to come your way maybe that's why you've taken this leap of faith because you've been waiting for it to come in because this was something you were wishing for um again with the earth though it is he's bringing a pentacle here right so he's got this opportunity and usually he's the one carrying the ace so for some of you this could be communication about an opportunity coming in but this is of course a very good omen that uh something positive is coming now he is looking over his shoulder so let's see what he's looking at four of cups interesting i feel like some of you are bored whatever is going on maybe you're tired of waiting or you're not as enthusiastic because you see him so again cups this can be scorpio 
Cancer or Pisces, you could be dealing with one of those and that's why you're a little bit bored here maybe with them. Again, there's a lot of emotions here because this is emotionally invested too with the cups. So you have three cups down here and you have this cup up here. So what this looks like to me, you see his face, how he's like not even reacting. So this cup from above is actually a gift from the divine. So you're actually receiving a gift from above, but you're not even react like you're looking at it, but you're kind of like, yeah, I got these cups over here, you know, whatever. <laughs> like you're not even entertaining this in the sense that you're just, you're, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. You're going through something here. So I feel like if this is possibly maybe whatever's going on, you know, you're kind of a little bit detached. So I'm thinking as well that whatever you're going on, I'm just trying to see, okay, we have forgiveness and we have reconciliation. So I feel like for some of you, you could be getting an offer, but it's not what you want. And I feel like whatever that offer is that's coming towards you, you're just kind of like, no, I'm good. But you're not even, but you're not, like you're not happy. And I can see that. And so I feel like that new beginning, that could be a new offer coming towards you. It could be something that maybe you were waiting for so long and you're just kind of like, okay, so now it's here. Now, now what, right? So maybe that's, uh, but normally like this is interesting. Like you have your cups and you're cool. You're just chilling over there. We'll see we'll see what it is but fours are fours are not you know there's there's some kind of restriction so i feel like for this one there's a little lackluster going on so maybe the patience you know maybe you're just so patient that you just forgot i don't know something's there hey and it does say be patient and play while you wait so i feel like for some of you if you are waiting for this to come in act alive live do stuff the hermit that makes sense here you're sitting under a tree and here you took the whole Virgo. So this is a Virgo card. Hermit is, of course, going in and reflecting. Virgos are notorious for this. So you guys might be in this mood too where, you know, maybe your first week was super exciting in the beginning, but then things are just a little slow and a little delayed and something exciting happened or something new came in. And then all of a sudden now you're like a little confused, right? So now you're set into this reflection mode. So this could be going into the second week or whenever this hits you, but you're gonna go inside and what you're gonna reflect on is, you know, the, the hermit is seeking wisdom, right? So you're withdrawing because you're contemplating. That could be also why you're kind of in this place because you're in this position where you're like, I have something, that's making me happy, that's fulfilling me, but then I have something else, but then you're a little confused. Like, I feel like maybe some of you are confused and that's what's going on. Maybe um, someone from your past is coming back and that's putting you in a position because you're with someone or you have something already. Because I do see something that is already here, you, you are happy. So maybe if it is with someone else and then you have another offer coming in and it's confusing, <laughs> that makes sense. But the hermit goes inside to look for the star and the star is the ultimate wish, right? And in the, in the tarot, you're always seeking the star. So the tarot card with the hermit, the hermit is always seeking the star, which is the light. So he's got the light. Oh, cool. The fool is the first card and the hermit is the end of the fool journey. When you embark on the fool journey, you're starting with nothing. At the end with the hermit, you have all the understanding and knowledge and experience, the wisdom, right? So I feel like for some of you, if this isn't your journey and you've now had this knowledge and understanding, which I feel like in a week is a little difficult, <laughs> but it could be regarding the situation. You could be connecting with a Virgo or someone that is wiser or someone that has the knowledge and this is bringing you great joy because this is going to be this could be something you wish for maybe some of you are wishing for a mentor or someone to guide you along the journey but the hermit is an is alone this is solo so you might have to go inside to figure out what it is you truly desire and want because you might have things but you're not happy so you aren't sure what it is so i feel like for some of you you're really close but you're not seeing that yet it hasn't come to term yet the sun, here's this happiness. Yeah, so you're seeking your happiness. You're looking and you're searching for your sun. Now, if this is about the situation, it is very positive because you have this beautiful opportunity where you're giving, you're receiving. So again, I really highly recommend volunteering because this is gonna be very positive for you in the end. If you're asking a specific question, then the answer is yes. Definitely a loud and clear with the sun card. It's a very positive, happy card. So you can't get a happier card than this one. Page of Wands. So this new opportunity can be coming in from someone. This could be a message, something positive. You know, this is good news. Um, you could be receiving really good news about something. And of course that's, 
here with the fool. You're getting this beautiful news and you're just taking this leap of faith. Like this could just not even necessarily be about starting over. It just could mean you get a new pep in your step because now the journey begins. Whatever you've been working on and going towards, it's coming. So I feel like during this week, the patience you've been having to wait to take the action, you know, again, with that card there, it's really, really important. But you're so close to achieving your goal. So I feel like for some of you, temperance. Hi, guys. Thanks for showing up in your reading. <laughs> this is a Sagittarius card. But the beauty of this card and why I love this card is actually um, the concept of her. She's holding a cup of water and a cup of fire. So with the temperance, cups always represent emotions, fire representing passion. So for some of you, you could be very passionate about something because your goal, you know, you're determined on your goal, but you're being emotionally pulled in a direction. But in terms of balancing with the temperance, the whole point is to take your cup of emotion and to take your cup of fire. And instead of the water, the water doesn't put out the fire. It actually turns it into, it exists, they coexist. So it's about balancing. So you're not burning you know like you're not evaporating your waters you still have all this love and beauty inside you but you're also not putting out your flame right so it's about doing that and in other decks this is represented with a rainbow above it in this one it doesn't have that because i guess it's a different artist but at the same time it is radiating light so for some of you it's really about coming into the balance with yourself so i feel like this offer that's coming that's stable could be what's helping stabilize you or it's what's requiring you to really focus on this temperance to really control yourself because it could be putting you into a situation and again, there could be a lot of factors, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. So if this is something that's triggering you, if it's something that's like tempting you or whatever, I'm not feeling temptation because I don't see anything negative in that way. We have the Hierophant. Here we go. We have a new level of commitment for some of you. You could be taking your relationship to the next level. You could be getting more serious. If you're just seeing someone, you can start dating them. Oops. And if you're already dating someone, then you could be getting engaged, so congratulations. And if you are engaged, you could be getting married. So this is, of course, the next level of commitment. For some of you, this is also school. You could be going back to school to study something, um, to be hiring your education. Of course, this now this one is definitely a mentor card. So for some of you, you're seeking someone with wisdom, but this is under the four of cups. So maybe that's why you're a little bit you're a little bit down, you're a little bit bummed, you're bored because you don't know how to, maybe this is about motivation, maybe this is about uh, just emotionally connecting with something. I feel like some of you, like you have these cups, but you're not, you're not emotionally invested anymore. If this is something that you're already in, I'm not sure if some of you are happy with that. Maybe this new offer that's coming in is kind of what you're looking, you're even looking at it because you're not happy with what you have or where you are, or it isn't something that's leading to a commitment. And I feel like that's why you're having to temper this because you're really having to spend that time to weigh this option. Awesome. But there was a second one, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. The Hierophant clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. So some of you could actually just be choosing to commit to your work. You could just be co committing to your job. You could be committing to your financings to make money, to work uh, towards that. You could be really buckling down. Of course, if you're studying and you're focusing on studying, then you're you're really just focusing on this because in the long term, it's going to be very beneficial to pay back towards you. But this is more earth energy as well. So you have a lot of earth in this reading, but it could just be you really focusing on your money or your financial state and stuff like that with getting the security. But there is there is a beautiful option here. So I'm not sure what opportunity you're going to be taking or what you're doing, but do not make any major action right now, right? Remember, guys. So you got four cards for the Michael, Archangel Michael. So I'm going to read them in prayer, whatever you want to do to put yourself in prayer mode. We'll try to do these quickly. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Beautiful, beautiful card. So listen to yourself. Whatever you're being guided, pay close attention, okay? There's a reason why you feel in here. Whatever you're thinking, if there's a reason. The message. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me so that the wisdom can come this is some of you even literally asking and wishing and praying for the guidance for that or to find the answers that you seek okay so that's that's awesome i'm so happy for you guys this is a really good really good reading pay attention to your dreams i was just thinking about saying something about that but here we go 
Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderful, restful night's sleep. Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this and then focus and describe your situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. Amazing. Beautiful. Oh, sorry. I don't think I should do that one. But that one's a beautiful, beautiful card. Very beautiful. I love the illustrations on these ones. Oh, okay. This is kind of explains the four of cups. <laughs> Detach from the situation. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. So whatever is happening here, I feel like you're maybe just detached. Not that you don't care and not that it doesn't matter to you, but I feel like some of you are just a little detached, maybe a little too detached, okay? So don't like step so far away from your thing while you're waiting and you're in your patience and I know it's talking about surrendering so you have to allow the out the old out so if you're processing stuff and you're going through that you know don't focus too much on the old either because you have to be ready for the new but you need to have that healing all right last one keep your eyes on your target and intention thank you Archangel Michael for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts, granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. Definitely stay focused on your target, guys. That's awesome. So just have the patience. What's yours is on its way. I'm so excited. Thanks, guys. Let me know how it resonates. Comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks. Bye.